it's a little I think it's gonna be a defensive matchup. Two of the best defensive teams in the okay. league. I think it's, I don't think the three hey, I'm a contrarian. Who yeah, you are. Da -da 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 -da. Just, da -da -da -da. Stop, stop it. What do you stop? What do you like, <laughs> like Diana Ross All right. over here? Ryan Custer, Vince Carter, and Ross Goldung who they have the call. We I'm need done. To see I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go check out the Laker game. Welcome to the City by the Bay, San Francisco Chase Center. You know, this venue has been the best home court advantage in the NBA as the Golden State Warriors take on the Dallas Mavericks. Welcome to NBA Courtside. It's presented by DoorDash, and we got a matchup of two of the NBA's most prolific scores, and this will be the eighth head-to-head -head matchup between Steph Curry and Luka Doncic. I mean, it's money time. This is when your big star player, your superstars, go at it, jockeying for playoff position. Of course, Steph has won for the first seven meetings between these two. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Custer, alongside half man, half amazing, Vince Carter. You know, Vince, after the All-Star break, it's go time for teams as they try to jockey for playoff position. And if you're the Dallas Mavericks, hey, look, you got Zach, so trying to get that four spot in the way. Absolutely, DC. It's go time for the Mavericks, and it's led by that guy they call Luka Doncic. And you see right there, the opportunity is right there. They have an opportunity to get home court advantage. Coach J. Kidd said, it's okay if we get it or not, but we'd like to have it. So that means they want it. And they're going to go out there and try to get it. If they're going to get the four spot, that means they need some Luka magic. Luka Doncic, he's the greatest delivery brought to you by Absolutely, Luka Magic needs to happen, and Luka can score at all three levels. You see here in the post, he has his head up, but you're not going to rush him. He's going to get to where he wants to go, and he hits you with that fadeaway spin back. Now, it's one-on-one, -on -one. yep, dribble, dribble, show you. He's just creating the space he needs to get to that step back three, which we know is automatic. And in here, here's the same matchup. You can see everybody pinching in. He shows the ball fake step back. Now I see, now you're chasing me. I can get to my dribble handoff. Get, I'm sorry, my dribble will get into the center of the paint. And I go to the flotation device. Luka, Ma Luka Magic is going to happen. And how often is the question? Well, listen, he's having the best scoring stretch of his career. He's averaging 34 points per game over the last 11 for the Dallas Mavericks. Now, for the Golden State Warriors, they look, they're in the second spot in the West. They could easily be number one. And, of course, they're going to rely a.k.a. Chef Curry. You know, when he gets rolling, he can score any way he wants. You see there, if there's separation, he's going to make make you step out there, and he can do whatever he wants, show you the ball play, ball fake, getting to the flotation device, and then he's great off the ball as well. Back cut to an easy layup. Steph Curry draws all the attention. He's so good with out the ball, and of course, you know what he can do with the ball. Yeah, absolutely. Coming off a season high 14 assists in their last game. Now, go take out some more good Draymond Green is close to coming back. But more on that, third member of our team, Rob's going on one day. Yes, Draymond Green has missed the last 22 games due to a lower back injury. But yesterday, he returned to the court with his team to practice. However, he did not do any scrimmaging. Draymond's working on getting his explosiveness, his wind, and his feel back. Now, Draymond is not trying to rush back in vain. He's focused on quality of return. He said, I don't want to limp back out there. I was dominating before I got hurt. I want to come back strong. And he's also added, he's the strongest physically he's ever been. After being in the weight room for six to seven weeks, four to five hours a day, he said. And of course, Draymond's confident. He said, there's 22 games left. If I can play some of those, I'll be fine. You know what? The Warriors... 15 and 11 with Draymond out of the lineup. Hey, listen, when we come back, we got the tip. But next, it's the NBA Countdown Crew, Malika, Janae, and RJ. NBA Courtside on ESPN is presented by DoorDash, the official on-demand delivery platform of the NBA.